Welcome to From Concept to Completion, creating stunning mock-ups in Affinity Photo. In this comprehensive guide, we embark on a journey through the creative process of crafting captivating mock-up designs using Affinity Photo's powerful PSD Smart Objects. Whether you're an aspiring designer, a seasoned professional, or simply eager to enhance your visual storytelling skills, this video is your gateway to mastering the art of mock-ups. Throughout these samples, you'll learn how to seamlessly translate your ideas into polished mock-ups, from conceptualization to final execution. We'll delve into the intricacies of Affinity Photo's tools and techniques, empowering you to unleash your creativity with confidence. With step-by-step -step tutorials, insightful tips and inspiring examples, From Concept to Completion equips you with the knowledge and skills to elevate your mock-up designs to new heights. Get ready to embark on a transformative journey where imagination meets innovation and where every concept is transferred into a stunning visual masterpiece. Now, adding a new image to an Affinity Photo PSD mock-up is a straightforward process. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions. Open Affinity Photo. Of course, you'll already have that open, I'm sure. Launch the Affinity Photo software on your computer. Open the PSD mock-up by going to File, Open and navigate to the location where your PSD mock-up file is stored. Select the file and click Open. In this instance, I already have the mug mock-up open and you can see it there. Locate the Smart Object layer and you can see that there. Look for the layer that contains a smart object. This layer usually has an icon indicating that it's a smart object and you can see it there. In, in Affinity we call it Embedded Document such as a small square with an arrow at the corner. And that's kind of not a small square with an arrow, but it's similar. Double click on the Smart Object Layer icon. This is important. This action will open a new tab window containing the contents of the Smart Object. Double click and there's the new window. You'll see the contents of the Smart Object. Now what I've got in there is an image like that or an image like that. I've got them there already and this is where you'll replace the existing image with your own. So you go to File and Place or use the shortcut Control or Command plus Shift and P to import your image into the document. Select your image and click Place. So this is a standard place option. Adjust the size and position. Resize and position your image as needed to fit within the boundaries of the smart object. You can use the transform tools to adjust the size and move the image around. And as you can see, I've already got it in place, so it doesn't need much movement. You can see you can move it around. I've got to snapping on so I know it's exactly the right size. Now to save and close the smart object, once you're satisfied with the placement of your image, you don't save it, you then just close the tab or window. Let's go up to File and select Close. Now because I've got another document open to the right of it, it automatically goes to that position. But we'll go back to there and there's our bird positioned on the place. Right where you need it on the side of the mug. Let's just click that so you can see it where it is. So return to the main document and after closing the smart object or tab window, you'll be returned to the main document with your new image in place. Let's do that with the second image. Double click on the icon now because I already have it there, what I also have there is the size of the area there. I just put that in there as a marker. I can turn that off 
But there's our bird on that one. Now we just close that document. File, close. Goes back to there. You can see it's gone and opened that document up on the right hand side. But there it is there. And you can see it's still selected and in highlight mode there. Now there's two mock-up mugs with the bird on them. Save your mock-up. Finally save your mock-up file to preserve the changes you've made. Go to File, Save or Save As and choose the desired format and location. That's it. You've successfully added a new image to your Affinity Photo PSD mock-up using Smart Objects. Now that's really useful. Now just to recap that, let's go through the quick steps of this again. So we're going to Tutorials, Mastering Mockups, and in this case I want to open, not Mug 1 which we looked at, but I'll open Mug 2 this time. Now number 2 it is actually, there's not two mugs there, there's just one. So we're opening up our PSD Mockup file, and we're in Affinity Photo version 2.4. So we just open that up, and there's our mock-up. Really easy. Now you can see there's the workspace. There's the design. Now that's like that, you see. So I, it, you can just leave it like that. Now double click on the icon. It's no good double clicking on the layer itself. It won't work. You've got to double click on the icon. That brings up the blank space. Now let's go to File and Place. Now we're still in the same <clears throat> area. We've got a watercolour bird. Halftone mock-ups. Have I got another bird there? No, it doesn't look like I have. Never mind. There we go, Wading Birds in Pastel Colours. That's the one I want. Let's open that one. Now I've already got that in a suitable size. You can see 978 by 1232. So it's, it's the portrait size, which makes it easy to put in here. So we just go to there, drag it down to, and it's probably going to get away from me in a moment, down to there. There we go. Now snapping is on. And you can see where the red and green lines appear. So that's perfectly placed. Now let's see. We don't. You don't have to save it because if you go File Save, there is no save there. You just go to Close. Now we're back at. It just takes you straight back to your mock-up, and there's the mock-up there, nicely in place. Isn't that wonderful? Now you can go and save that. And you can save it as Mug 2, um, what will we call it? Mug 2, one, 1 Mug. Anyway, you can work out what you want to call it when you get to it. There we go. Document saved. There's your mock-up. Export it as a PNG or, T or JPG, whichever you like. Export and I'll just put it in the same directory and there it is. Too easy. Now let's have a look at the second one. This one, again, is fairly easy, much like the first one that we just did of the mugs. Very pretty. This one we're going to do is a billboard on the side of a building. So let's go and find the document, the PSD document. Now here we are in Mastering Mockups. And we've got to find the giant building mock-up. There we go. Exterior outdoor wall mock-up. That's the one. Now, open the document. 
You can download all of these uh, quite easily from my website. I'll put them all there in the download folder. Now, mock-up, ta-da, place for your design, easy edit via smart object. Too easy. Okay, select that. Top layer, that's your layer. Now you can observe that there's the little embedded document symbol just there. Double click on the icon and it comes up with that. Now you can see that's there. Let's go find the document that I've pre-prepared to place in there. And that's called, what did I call it? Not that one. Travel the world, half tone. There we go. This is almost ideal, this one. Um, and it seems to fit in there nicely. So we just drag that down. And you can see that it's not quite fitting in there, but that's all right because, let me just bring that out. There's a little bit of a snapping is on. So all of the sides, now, that's a half-tone pattern in there, which is what I did on purpose. Now, you don't save that, remember? This is how easy this is. You just file and close, and it goes back to there. There's the two mugs. There's the giant building I did to start with. And that's our new one. Giant building exterior outdoor wall mock-up. So if you're designing something for somebody that fits out on a building like that, there's your mock-up. Too easy. And you just save that. And that's the job done. Now lastly, <clears throat> let's have a look at um, a book cover. That's this one here. Now this one is somewhat more complex. Now it's not just the image at the top there. Let me get that selected. It's not just the main cover image, but on here you can see there's all sorts of other things added into this one. And you can see the, the order there so that they show correctly in the, in the order of things. Now there's the cover itself, which you can see from the symbol is the embedded document. All the others are straight documents that are in there. There's the book shadow. And you can see there's all sorts of other shadows in there. It's quite a complex document and you may need to look through it to see how it's done. There's the smoke and mirrors, smoke and the haze and the blood right at the top there, dripping down the book. You can see that there. Now, the cover itself, you see you've done here, you've put in your own background to, to complement the mock-up of the cover, which sits behind that lower bullet there. But let's have a look at the cover by double-clicking on the icon. Don't worry about these things. That's a texture behind the book. And, well, let's have a look at it. That's a texture that I was going to use if the book was open, but no, it's not really necessary. And there's the five, that's the dimensions of the book. There's our book cover. And you can see that that's not made up of lots of other layers, which I could have done, but I've done that elsewhere. So this is just the cover. It's just a cover image, PNG image, and I've got it in the right place. Murder at the Zoo, that's an image I've in, pulled into there from Envato Elements, I think it was, one of them anyway. And my name, of course, and that's a book I'm currently writing. Now, this is fairly similar to the other ones. The only difference is the detail is on here. Now, if you did that, as I would normally do it to make a single image, then you would have lots more layers in here for text for the image, for that text there, for any um, special effects and things like that. So let's just go up to File and close that document. 
There's our document there. There's that selected. Just the hand. We're back at our original document. And you can see there that the book is just gives the impression of being slightly open and the cover outward so it's sitting there on its um, lower edge. That's a fairly straightforward one, but as you noticed here, all the layers go to make up all the other component parts of the image on the in the mock-up. So you don't just have to replace that, you can make the mock-up whatever you like. Okay. That's it, I think.